Hello everybody, good to see you back. I'm Paul, this is my studio, Warsaw Poland, my humble YouTube channel, and my new espresso cups. With a sip of espresso, of course. Mm. This coffee is really great. Of course, we're not gonna review espresso cups today. Wait, this is what we're gonna review today. This is Zilia microphone, proudly made in Poland in a beautiful city of Poznan. Yeah, so that's the mic. But what is this? And why do I want to talk about this Polish-made microphone today? I'll tell you why. Do you remember my video about top 12 Polish Pro Audio hardware producers? You're gonna find this video here. I made a terrible mistake in this video because I did not include Zilia in this video for some reason, though I was perfectly aware that this company and this product exists. Uh, and I dare to say, this is the most innovative Polish Pro Audio product and surely one of the best, if not the best one. It's insane. And today I will show you just a tiny bit of it and why it's so great. Let's go. Okay, what's so special about this small black ball sphere? First of all, this is a surround 360 spatial mic, whatever you call it. It records the audio absolutely around. And that's why I called Zilia personally, because I wanted this mic for a project we shot abroad. I can't tell you anything about this project right now. It's being shot in Israel. We were using 360 cameras. Also, we were using Zilia and we made some additional shots strictly for our Zilia presentation. So we don't break any NDA and we don't reveal anything about this project. But well, today I'm going to show you what Zilia recorded in the later part of the video. And first, I'll try to start with the main features of this thing, which are actually insane. Seriously. First of all, it would be maybe good to mention Ambisonics. This is not strictly only an Ambisonic mic, it's more than that, but it supports Ambisonics up to third order. Do you know what mid side is? Do you know the concept of mid side when you've got this central sphere uh, microphone and you've got figure of eight, you've got pressure on the both sides of figure of eight, and then you invert the face on one side plus the mid, and the second side is with the face opposite to the second side plus the mid, and then you create mid side. Just in very short, you can read about mid side online. So mainly, Ambisonics is mid side taken to 3D because if you have mid side simply left, right, or sides more properly, sides and mid, you can transfer this into 3D. So you've got this central sphere microphone and you've got one side like this, X, Y, and Z. So first order ambisonics is just X, Y, Z, mid side microphone taken to 3D. Then you've got second order ambisonics, which is more precise, third order ambisonics, which is 16 capsules, even more precise up to fifth or even sixth order ambisonics. And Zilia is the third order ambisonics mic, but it's got 19 capsules, not 16. The latter three are a mystery to me somehow. Only Zilia knows what they are and what they do uh, because they don't mention it in any documentation. This is proper, probably a part of their patents or something. Anyway, it's a 3D mic that can work in Ambisonics. We'll get to that very, very soon. And first, let's start with Zilia Studio recording software. This is how it looks like. You even have some demo recordings here and you start a new session here. And first you set up your scene around Zilia ZM1. As this is a spherical mic, 360, you can set up your musicians that you're recording around the mic, which is already crazy. So this red dot is the front of the microphone. 
Mm. And yeah, the first source should be placed at the very front and then set the rest of the sound sources around the microphone. In I regard, this mic has to be connected to my PC so that Zillia Studio can really work. Wait. It is so much better. My Zillia started glowing in blue, which means it's ready for recording. So let's start a new session. Next. And yes, let's choose simply solo. Mm, the front of my Zillia is here. I'm going to and talk to it like this, so I'm a solo speaker, continue. And here I can record my audio. Hello. Yes, this is me. I'm talking in front of this microphone. You can see that the positioning of the sound is being represented here. And Zillia is capable of placing the sound source very precisely. It knows where the sound is exactly, which is already quite cool, right? Yeah, that's it. Then I can press stop and now I can export it and I will export it as the source 19 channel wave track. As we have our sample Zillia file recorded, let's go to my DAW, which is Nuendo, which is actually a great DAW for spatial virtual ambisonic sound. So Zillia plus Nuendo, it's a really powerful combo. And let's create a 22.2 track. Yes, this is the way to do it in Nuendo. And we'll drag our recorded file here. Yes. Mm, okay. The gain could be a bit higher. And let's go for Zillia Studio Pro plugin, which is the next step in our spatial journey with Zillia. We're going to also put S1 Imager to make it mono here for now, because we don't need anything else. And the sphere at the screen represents the space around the microphone. And what we can do now is that we can create as many virtual microphones as we want, and we can virtually place them wherever we want around Zillia, my friends. For now, I'm going to use only one source because I only had one uh, source that was my speech in the very front of the microphone. I'm going to turn source localization on. Polar pattern of this virtual mic is here. Also, I can change this polar pattern here. Yeah, let's leave it as uh, S1 for now. Also, energy map is going to display the SPL around the microphone here. And let's press play. I can record yes. My audio. And Hello. as you can see, yes, this is me. it's going to track where my voice is. You can see that the positioning of the sound is being represented yeah. here. And uh -huh. Julia is capable of placing the sound source very precisely exactly so i can track exactly. the source already virtually right yeah with this directional virtual mic which means that you can place as many virtual instruments around zillia uh, i mean instruments and virtual microphones uh, with the zillia you can assemble a band and then inside zillia you can separate every instrument and then you can send them to separate tracks. What I will do now is that I will create a group from this because this is also the way to make an audio track uh, uh, output for the input on another track. Now I will make a mono track and on this mono track I will choose group one as my audio input and now I can record the source, the directional mic, the virtual mic from Zillia onto this new track. There we go. Let's remove the source. This is our separate instrument from a virtual mic from one of the mic directions. You can have as many as you want, remember. Let's put a bit more gain on it. What we can do now is that we take this virtual directional mic, this virtual sound source extracted from Zillia, and we can reposition it using Nuendo because Nuendo itself, it's a great 
spatial sound tool. Let's tweak it around. I can record my audio. Hello. Yes, this is me. I'm talking in front of this microphone. You can see that the positioning of the sound is being represented here and Zilia is capable of placing the sound source very precisely. It knows where the sound is. Also, I'll try another HRTF. HRTF is head related transfer functions like a virtual head shape and ear shape ear distance for headphones listening for spatial sound. Facebook uh, HRTF should be a bit more um, distinctive, let's say. It should give us a bit more difference while listening. And let's tweak this sound again. I can record my audio. Hello. Yes, this is me. I'm talking in front of this microphone. You can see that the positioning of the sound is being represented here. <laughs> so guys, actually, with this and Nuendo, I'm able to assemble an orchestra, a band, around the microphone. I can capture them, separate them using Zilia software, and then using Nuendo, I can completely rearrange them, reposition them, remix them, do whatever I want. This is really such a powerful thing that a couple of years ago, if anybody told me it would be possible at all, I would say this person was crazy. And yet, this is possible with Zilia and with CoolDAW with good spatial audio support. But that's not all. Let's move to the next point. Uh, and this is what we did in Israel. This is what I already told you. So I'm going to take another piece of Zilia software. This time it's going to be Zilia Ambisonics Converter. This converts Zilia 19 track signal into a third Ambisonics order signal. So it's going to reduce uh, 19 tracks to 16 tracks. And I will choose my input files. which are, of course, here. And I will convert them to third order files. And I will place them in the ambi folder. Mm -hmm. We've got our files converted. I will drag them on my timeline using a third order ambisonics track. Yes. Boom. All of them. One track. This is third order ambisonic already converted to binaural sound using HRTF that is here that I told you already about. Let's leave it to Facebook. And now we can also move, reposition this. Remember this, that this is third order ambisonics. So this is not like one or five or whatever directional virtual mics, it's the sphere a complete sphere around the microphone. We recorded some streets, let's say in Israel, and I'm gonna try to simulate the movement of my head while listening so that you can feel some difference. So also, headphones are totally recommended for this. I can definitely hear where the street is. Uh, yo is this uh, axis, pitch is this axis, uh, roll is this axis, I'll try to move them all for you. <laughs> yes, I can totally hear it. This is very subtle, it's very suggestive. I really wish I could play to you in my Oculus with any video because then it would be really, really powerful. As soon as the project I'm working on is out, I will let you know so that you can listen to real 
mm, Zillia recordings with video, three, th 360 video, of course. I can seriously hear even the movement up and down, moving my head up and down. Let's try to listen to it again. So this guy goes from right to left like a bit in front of me now i'm gonna move my head left so i should hear this guy here exactly and then i'm gonna move my head to right so i should hear him here yeah i'm simulating this a bit for you so that you can understand what's going on but believe me guys when the project's done, uh, when we have the video and Zillia recordings together, that's going to be amazing. This is a very precise microphone for spatial recording too. So, so well, I have just scratched the surface of this amazing thing. Mm, and also of the nuendo power in uh, spatial sound, which is also amazing and i cannot imagine i worked on my spatial sound project in any other dot than nuendo it's prepared best it's absolutely ambisonic spatial 360 ready and that's definitely my choice uh, for this and guys let's try to sum the things up zillia yes it does make me absolutely proud to be Polish and I'm asking myself how is that possible that in the video from seven months ago I forgot to mention this this is a blunder this is like this is unforgivable <laughs> actually what I did but you know what it turns out quite okay because Zilia definitely deserved a separate video about what they do and as I said, this is just the very beginning. The applications of the mics, the ways you can use it, the spatial stuff you can squeeze out of it is out of this world. There's absolutely nothing like it. So whether music is your thing, rehearsals, uh, spatial recordings of any kind, if that's what you do or you'd like try to do, Zillia is definitely your go-to. Guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new today and I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.